Hey everyone, okay, so today I thought I'd introduce you to my husband. Hello. Hello. Why am I Hello. Why am I here? You tell me. Because we're doing a video on your likes and dislikes, starting with your favourite TV programmes, and as I watch more TV than you, I'm here to help. Have we got a dislikes, have we? No. Ah. What do your likes? It's going to be a positive video. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, you start, and then I will just interject. This is a one-off, by the way. This is not the beginning of a podcast. <laughs> no, it's not. And it's just to end the year on absolute nonsense, since what we do in the evenings is watch TV. So that's what this is about. As you can tell, I keep not looking at the camera, because I'm not used to it. So, all right, let's get going. I've, I've done notes. Um, honourable yeah. mentions. Oh, the cat's here as well. Honourable mentions. So, favourite TV. Your favourite TV. My favourite TV. So, my first one, hurry on. Is 99. Now that's a British dark, dark comedy, and one of my favourites. I find it incredibly funny. Julia Davis stars in it and wrote it, and it has the darkest, darkest humour you've ever seen, and it is hilarious. It is funny. It, it is very funny, and she's your spirit animal, isn't she? She is. I love her. I love her. Hiya, car. Oh. Hi, car. Hi, car. Hi, car. Yeah, it's very. It is very dark and. Very, very naughty. Not adult friendly. Not adult friendly, not child friendly. Yes, adult friendly. But not child friendly. No. All right, I've put down, because I wrote a list, I put down, this is one people outside of the UK might not know, which is The Good Life. Oldie. It is an oldie. It's from the 70s, and it's about a middle class couple who decide mm. to give up their corporate jobs and go fully self sufficient. And they've got two neighbours they battle with and it's just lovely it's very very nice kind it's a very kind happy thing it's very british and very 70s but it's um beautiful. it's also got the character who i think is one of two best comedy characters ever created which is margot, margot ledbetter what if it's on youtube but there's clips oh, i'm sure there is i'll find some and edit them in i'd sooner pay the electricity bills personally i'd sooner you paid the electricity bills personally. <laughs> <laughs> meaning what jay <laughs> Good evening, Barbara. Good evening, Tom. Hello, Margot. What are you doing here? I've left Jerry. <laughs> Why? Because he wouldn't write a cheque for my spinning wheel. Hey? How dare he talk to me like that? I will not be harangued about the financial climate. I will not have his bank statements thrust under my nose. And above all, I will not be thrown about my own house like some rag doll. What did he do? He shook me by the elbows. <laughs> So next one, this is one we both like, and so The Golden Girls. So I remember The Golden Girls as a child because I was allowed to stay up and watch it. And I also think that's partly where I started to develop my sense of humour mm -hmm. because it was very sarcastic and acerbic and I just loved it. I haven't watched every single episode like Robin has, but... Um, it is, it is fabulous. And has my second best comedy creation, which is Lunch Lunch Never Never Oh, I do love the rain, so it reminds me of my first kiss. Uh, your first kiss was in the rain. No, it was in the shower. <laughs> Absolutely sensational. She is delicious. And finally, Ab and this is because we're gay, basically, isn't yeah. it? Golden Girls and Ab Fab. Yeah. You know, everyone knows Ab Fab. Yeah, it's amazing. Amazing. I'm trying to think how old I was when it was released. 16, maybe I was when it was first released. Just hilarious. It brought the world of designers mm. into everyday home who had never really heard of them before. You know, Lacroix? <laughs> no one had ever heard of that, I don't think, before, unless no. you were really rich. <laughs> and it just brought this world of exuberance and deliciousness that no one had ever seen but know somebody or you knew somebody better than I did who was actually quite similar to her in real life. I don't know who you mean. You can edit this name out, but oh, because gosh, yeah. we were sat once having dinner with her and she behaved exactly the way that Adina did. And in real life, not so funny. On camera, very funny. But I remember it very well. There was kids in the background and she was not happy that there was children there. Yeah, so there we go. Nighty Night, The Good Life, Golden Girls and Ab Fab. Those are our honourable mentions. Worth noting as well that we listened to the podcast from Julie Davis. Which, oh, I forgot the name of it. 
The book's called Why He Turns Away. <laughs> yes, the book is called Why He Turns Away. But the podcast is Joan and Jericho. Joan and Jericho. Joan and Jericho. Again, not child friendly. Don't listen to it in the car. No. Or with a sensitive adult. <laughs> Which we made that mistake, didn't we? We did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. Yes, we did. Go on. Go I, also, I also wrote down we watch lots of subtitle stuff, Scandi stuff especially. Yeah. So The Killing. The Killing was fantastic. Still my favourite. Uh, the Killing was drama the, series. My favourite of them all. Stunning. And, and you didn't watch The Bridge. I didn't like it. I thought The Bridge was stunning. It was like too it. bleak. We like. The same things, really, don't we? Pretty yeah. much. And when we get onto your film video, that'll be a very different matter. <laughs> yes. Yes, I like period pieces. And I like horror. But, but um, yeah, I didn't like The Bridge. I thought it was so bleak. Yeah. It was just we too like a bit of bleak. I like a bit of bleak, but not that much. Time for the best bit. All right. Say your favourite one. Uh, of all of these? Well, I put them in order for you. Oh, did you stop the top? Because I know what you like. All right. So my fav- one of my favourite TV shows of all time was The Practice. It was eight seasons long, seven of which were incredible. Eight was still good, but not the same. Amazing. Laura Flynn Boyle, Dylan McDermott. Can't remember the character's name, but uh, the actress's name, but Lindsay was one of my favourite characters. Lindsay Dole. Lindsay Dole. It was the best. We love a lot of law shows, lawyers, that kind of stuff. And it was amazing and it's David E. Kelly and we love yeah. everything he does Ali McBeal you weren't that fussed Ali McBeal so much were you? I liked seasons one and two it then just got just ridiculous for me and it was it was great I don't know what year it came out I'll put it up on the screen later. the practice yeah. I reckon it was 98 or 7 97, 98 I'll google it and I'll edit it in but um, it was what I liked about it, it was very diverse for its time as well, without being preachy. It was and it's dark. It was dark. quite a dark. And your favourite scene, Wayne's favourite scene, is very strange. I'm right? going to tell you two. You've got one. I've got another one. I'm going to make you edit in. Well, you say your favourite one is. So my two favourite scenes actually both involve Lindsay. And one is where she's trying to get her law professor out of um, prison. And she throws a brief at the judge. And the acting in it is so amazing that it just gives me goosebumps when I watch it. Go through with the trial, and if we lose, argue prosecutorial misconduct not to charge manslaughter. That's not what I'm doing. It is. You're looking for a free bite. I am not looking for you to take The answer is no. Hey, can you at least read it? If you want to hold me in contempt, fine, but you have been strong-arming this case from the start. This stinks. The second one is actually in season seven. I'll find the clip because I've, I've got them. He really likes the show. I really like the show. When I eat my dinner, I eat it here at the desk and I watch the practice. Um, so the other favorite scene, which is why I think David E. Kelly is so great because you're able to empathize with people that you shouldn't be empathizing with. And there's a scene with a gentleman who is not a very nice man and it is the most tender scene between him and Lindsay. And it just, I think it's an incredible bit of acting. I love that show. My friendship for you was sane and real and legitimate and good. And the, love the show. My fa- oh, what I love about it is- Lara the- Boyle. Oh gosh, you you have a weird obsession with Lara Flynn Boyle. She's fabulous. Just because she looks so fierce and everything. Yeah. I love the um, twisty turny plot lines, especially the head in the bag plot line. I still think it's the. Who was the serial killer in well, season don't, two? Don't say who it is. No, I'm not going to. No. But that one played out as well. That was the head Joey. In the bag. No, Joey. Oh, Joey, the gay serial killer. Just saying. Yeah, Very good. That was good. Very good. And do you remember how we first got the show? I got it. Yeah. I was going to say <laughs> rude. <laughs> Yes, I found it and gifted it to you. We got a pleasure of gift. We got some uh, bootleg DVDs. That's ages us, didn't it? I did. I ordered them from America and they were just burned onto a disc. It cost me like $180. And um, and this was way back when as well. And they yeah. were rough as anything, but it worked. But it's available on streaming oh, now. It's great. It's, it's on great. Apple now, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it is. I think it is. All right. Um, the next one, you'll like this about this, but... No, I like it. I, like I, I kind of picked this because... Every summer we watch this and it's lovely because we love watching things together and we love things that go on for ages. And it's Australia, it's The Block. It's a home renovation show slash Big Brother type thing. But actually there's another one which is now cancelled called House Rules and that was our favourite. Yeah. Again, five couples, 
renovating houses, competing, and it was on like four nights a week for the whole summer, wasn't it? It's amazing. Leave the cat though. I love, love. <laughs> And we, we loved house rules mostly because you loved the host, didn't you? Joanna. Joanna, I wrote it down. Joanna, Joanna Griggs. She was lo- she, she was a swimmer. She was. She was beautiful. Beautiful, loved it. But then they changed the, the host towards the end and it all crashed and burned. Yeah. And then it just died and that was the end of house rules. So we still got the block. It's very popular in Australia. Um, and the reason it is going down, but the reason I like it best is because whenever we watch it, we sat down, we always watch telly late at night. Don't be funny now. You know what I'm going to say. Know. Don't be funny. <laughs> Wayne always um, takes against one couple in the first five minutes, based solely on appearance. Normally, <laughs> no, it's not at all. It's based upon. It's not based upon appearance at all. It's based upon the way they come off. Because I like couples that are kind. <laughs> and he's then consumed with anger <laughs> throughout the whole season. season. <laughs> it never wanes. <laughs> <either, does laughs> no, the whole season. I'm always I'll be angry. so proud. Yeah, thank you. And then there's the horror if they win. Yeah, but I'm never wrong. Who They're won? always usually vile. Who won this year? Did we like a one? Oh, we liked to win this year. There was that um, young Italian couple. They were lovely. They were very sweet. They were kind. And they were the underdogs all the way through. You see how we like these things and we discuss them? Yeah. So there we go. That's the block and house rules. Next one. Celebrity Big Brother. Celebrity Big Brother. Not the American one. No. Sorry, America. No, the English Celebrity Big Brother was, especially the final few seasons, Absolutely epic. I'm laughing already. It's amazing. It's very different to the American one. I never really got to the American one. I never totally understood it. No, it doesn't work. But the British one, every year, got better and better and better. Just when you thought they couldn't top the previous year. We're both laughing, but I know exactly what we're thinking of. Kim Woodburn. Kim Woodburn. If you, uh, people outside of the uh, UK won't know who Kim Woodburn is. Just Google Kim Woodburn, Big Brother. There's a... There's a <laughs> Oh, you nasty little bitch. <laughs> there's, an edi- there's a whole edited video. It's about 20 minutes it's long. It's amazing. She was a vile bully. <laughs> she was awful. She delivered... Allegedly. Uh, no, she Allegedly. Wasn't. Okay. Allegedly. I'm new to YouTube. Allegedly. <laughs> but she she was just awful. She swore. She was aggressive. She deliberately... <laughs> I'll, I'll cut this in. I think it's best you she, cut that bit out. <laughs> she, she deliberately called people by their wrong names. And <laughs> she, Nicole. She, Nicole. And I'm just going to cut that bit in. So now you spoil it. Sorry. My first nomination is Nicole. Nicola. Shut up. Don't be so stupid. I don't like this gang hander situation. It's bullying and it's cruel. Mm. And she was at one point dragged out of the house by security. But adulterer. I need, I need to well, take... you had. Excuse me. I need to take and you're an adulterer that two times your wife and she's got three kids. Listen, you're kid, talking about kid, decency. Kid. And then, of course, the famous in the last Celebrity Big Brother was the, not quite so funny, the no. Roxanne Pallet plot line, which was Horrific. really shocking, um, where she accused somebody of another, she's a soap star, accused another soap star of hitting them, of hitting them yeah. forgetting the fact there were cameras in the house. And Awful. You can Google that one as well. That was pretty shocking. Would Roxanne come to the diary room? I'd need to talk to somebody about something that's just happened that's made me feel really uncomfortable. There was no malice and hurt or anger in anything that I did. Can't believe you're letting somebody stay that's done that. If those cameras hadn't been there, you would have ruined somebody. I know. I feel devastated. It cripples me with embarrassment and, sh- and shame that mm. I could have put somebody in that position. But um, it was upsetting. Again, my favorite scene, which again is a bit sad, but it's the David's dead scene. I didn't find that amusing no, at all. No, not amusing. No, I mean, in any way, Drama. shape, I just found the whole thing ridiculous. David's Dead was where um, Angie Bowie, David Bowie's ex-wife, was given the very sad news that David Bowie had died while she was in the house. And told, Baby guest. Well, she told Tiffany Pollard. She was David, a great character, by the way. That David... Great character. I shouldn't have that David was dead. And she misunderstood and thought she meant David Guest, who was also in the house. Unfortunately, he has since passed away as well. So it's not funny <laughs> in retrospect, but for... Drama <laughs> unfolding before your eyes. We watched a rerun of Tiffany Pollard's best bits. She's hilarious. Nothing. David's dead. No, it's not. You can't. You can't. You can't do that. Regardless. Oh, I'll tell you another. I don't know if it's on there. Come on. Um, it isn't on there. Oh, which was Celebrity Apprentice. 
Oh, I love the Celestial Apprentice. We, and that was the American. I don't know if there's other ones here in the we, UK. We don't watch but, any British TV. No, it's dreadful. The American Celebrity Apprentice. One of my favourite seasons was with the um, poker player Annie Duke. Oh, yeah. And regardless of what you think of her as a person, I don't know her, she was incredible contestant. Mm. And so was Lisa Gibbons, who was beyond... Co she won as well. And she was beyond competent. She was an incredible... Did Lisa Gibbons win? She did win. She was amazing. That was a different so year to the year Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers was in the Annie Duke year. Yeah. Poker player. <laughs> poker. You're a poker player. A poker player. That's, That's awesome. beyond white trash. Poker players oh, are poker the most players. awesome people poker in the world. Poker players are trash, darling. I'm going to cut that bit in. Yeah, well. I know you are. <laughs> poker. Right, let's go on to our like that's a bad thing, right? <laughs> and win millions of pounds. Like, it's a bad thing to be a poker player. Right, our number one, which won't come as any surprise. Ever. It is our number one. Ever. It is, ever. You do it. You do it. No, I'm doing it. Drinking. The housewives. All of them. <laughs> Not all of them. There are some I dislike. No, the franchise as well. Oh, as it was, was yeah. television gold. It was for a long time, Espe until recently. Especially New York and Beverly Hills and Orange County. New York has was always my favourite because it gave them... We were talking about this the other day, that because it seems to me they're trying to modernise it and bring in a younger audience. We when, don't like the new no, no. When they're forgetting that the older audience is the one that's stuck with them the longest. Mm -hmm. And part of what I think draws attention to the show is that you've got women of our age and above who are just behaving poorly. And that's what we want to see. We don't want to see 20 year olds behaving poorly. I see 50 year olds getting drunk. Yeah, that's what MTV is for. Is it MTV now? I don't know. But wrong. we're young. No, no, no. We're younger people oh, getting see. drunk. That's what those younger stations are for. We're so old. Uh, you're older. I'm ten years older. Just a little bit. Yeah, like a day over. Thanks. Twenty-two. Um, so yeah, all the housewives, but in particular for me, New York, Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills. and Orange County. And Orange County. We watch the others as well. We watch Potomac. Potomac. I, I like Potomac really. Mm -hmm. I like that. We a laughed lot. at it last week. Though, it didn't is we? like we also also. <laughs> Um, Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City is getting pretty good. We watch Miami, which I don't care for. No, you don't like Miami. Really don't like Jersey. I find it really unpleasant. No, he hates Jersey. It's just a lot of shouting on New Jersey. I'm not a fan of Teresa. I think she's horrible. I think she's a horrible person. I do. The tree huggers will attack you. <laughs> I think she's a horrible person. <laughs> There's nobody I really love in New Jersey at all. But who's your favourite housewife? I know who your favourite housewife is. Of all time? Yeah, I know who it is. So, on the show, <laughs> Bethany Frankel. In real life, maybe not so much. But on the show, it was Bethany Frankel. I thought she was incredibly intelligent, funny, witty. You're not telling the truth. I am telling the truth. Kelly Dodd. Kelly Dodd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on New York. <laughs> <laughs> on New York. No. No, no, no. On New York, Bethany Frankel. Oh, I see. In yeah. The Housewives of Orange County. Yes, it was Kelly Dodd. I thought she was... Hysterical. Absolutely outrageous in every way, shape, or form. There was a scene you're going to show it where she was blowing into the glass and her cheeks were going sure that, that was, is your favourite housewife it's, scene. It's ridiculous. It's awful. But I loved her. I thought she was incredible, incredible, because she balanced that awful Tamara out, <laughs> who was awful. Anyone who doesn't watch The Housewives is looking at us now being absolutely mystified and horrified. But we just love it. We it's love amazing. It. <laughs> We love it so much that we had Luanne de Lesseps' song played at our wedding. We had two songs played at our wedding. We'll tell you what the other one is in the next video. But we had Money Can't Buy yeah, you yeah, well, You can't sing that on YouTube. Oh. Yeah, you can't sing that. Can't, you, no, I just you, said the line. It's fine. You, you can say the line. You can't sing oh, it. I won't sing the rest of it. I can't sing. So <laughs> no, we can't sing it anyway. So yeah, we had that played at our wedding. We did. Money Can't Buy You Class as we, as we walked. As you walked out of the room, was money cap by your class. Laughing like idiots. Yeah, that uh, sums it all but up, course, really, we, isn't it? The main reason, what, my, you were asking my, you know my favourite housewife? Ramona. No. Uh, Beth, um, oh, Luanne. Thank you. Luanne. I'm, I am slightly obsessed with Luanne. She's ridiculous. Because she's ridiculous. I don't want to be the one to have to tell you this because it's not my... Please don't let it be about Tom. It's about Tom. I said I heard it was last week Wednesday. How could you do this to me? I mean, I said to you the other night, didn't I? The three New York housewives, the three names, Luann, Ramona, and Sonia, are all very, have all changed over the years. This is how much we look into this. Is that. Oh, I disagree. 
I don't think Ramona's changed. I think no, 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 no. You're right. No, what I said was that Ramona was awful from day one, <laughs> and has stayed consistently awful all the way through. She's As opposed just, to the one. She's just a uh, no. <laughs> I think who's just such a a, a, a kind spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I think Luan has, has grown. As, as Bethany Franklin would say, she understands the assignment. She's, she knows what the audience wants. And then Sonia Morgan has just deteriorated as a human being. <laughs> this has gone on. And we mostly love the housewives. We spend our days quoting them to each other when, all day long. When lockdown hit, we re-watched the entire seasons from start to finish. And it was a wonderful experience. <laughs> it was amazing. I realised lockdown wasn't fun for many people, but we were but okay. But for us, it was a joy. The Housewives of Orange County saved us during lockdown. Yeah, and we Beverly watched Hills. New York and Beverly Hills. We just rewatched them all. We're, re we're thinking about doing it again as well, because yeah. why would you not? I know. I miss the old New York. I don't like the new cast. I hate it. It's boring. Yeah. And we there's nothing to quote from it. No. The best thing about the housewives for us are all the, the iconic scenes. So all the housewife fans at home now are all screaming to the television. Um, it was wonderful. Favourite iconic scene? Whatever. Well, what would come to mind for the housewives? One of the, There's actually two. You haven't got a clip, I don't reckon, but you may find one. I'll find it. So one was where Bethany was mimicking um, Ramona. Ramona. Which I thought was incredibly funny, where this was to do with a guy buying them a drink. Do you want me a drink? So I buy you a drink. Cheers. The other one was where, once again, was Bethany mimicking Ramona, but walking towards them. <laughs> and she just had this deranged look on her face, which summed up the whole of Ramona in general for the show. My mind's gone. I, I loved, it was when they were all stealing the um, lobster. The lobsters, yeah. My mind's gone blank as to what my favorite scene is. It was, and there was also the one from New York with, with Bethany just referring to Luann perpetually as a whore. Yeah. And they had a timestamp on the screen. <laughs> oh, you loved Just that. of how long this season, so this episode was going on. You are a slut and a liar and a hypocrite. Oh, very nice. And a snake. Oh. That's the truth. You know, okay. I'm glad to hear that. I'm it's glad. true. I can't believe the words that are coming out of my mouth. But I feel like I owe it to myself and everyone around us to just at least say my piece to her face. <laughs> it was just horrific. I'm trying to think what my favourite scenes are. I've, I'm always going about my favourite scenes. My mind's drawn a blank. I, don't know. I feel like I should cut and go away and come back. <laughs> I like the one where they'd had some massive row and Tamara Judge is, is sobbing uncontrollably in the back of a limo, <laughs> staring blank-eyed into the camera. That, that was with Kelly Dodd. That it? was a trip to Ireland. That was, was that was right. She was hyperventilating in the back of over something relatively minor as well. I think. Well, always over something yeah. relatively minor. I remember Neil had these little. You know when you're filming at night and you've got the look like night vision goggles. So you all have those glowing eyes in the back of in the back of the band. So they all look demonic. Oh, it's the catchphrase of Exile la Française. Exile la Française. I don't think a day goes by where Wayne doesn't say Exile la Française to me. <laughs> Okay, look, 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 I got you, some, I made you eggs. Look at this, scrambled eggs, à la française. <laughs> and just for fun. It's just my opinion. Yeah, screaming it at her. That's my opinion! There's a lot. There's, there's just, it's just fun. It is fun. And you also love Phaedra Parks, didn't you? Only God can judge me, and he seems quite impressed. I loved Phaedra Parks and badly. Muffin Baskets. Muffin Baskets, whenever she behaved badly. <laughs> I loved Phaedra. I thought she was one of the few housewives of the franchise that never raised her voice. No. She could, like, cut you down with a smile. Because you're a sneaky, trifling slut. And keep her tone really monosyllabic throughout the entire conversation. There's an awful bit, which we won't cut to, which was during a reunion, where she just said the most... Awful, awful things oh, about, um, about a pizza. It was to do with a pizza, the price of a pizza. Oh, yes. Uh, and it was awful. But just the way she was able to deliver um, without raising her voice. Because when somebody's in your face, your tendency is your heart will start beating mm -hmm. and you get angry. And she could just hold it together. She was a great character. I don't know about human, but <laughs> well, Most of them are awful people. I mean, I could watch Ramona Singer all day long. She's an awful human being. She's but, dreadful. But I, I still watch it today. And we're going to be watching Housewives. What have we got to watch this week? We've got the Girls Trip Ultimate Reunion thing with New York Housewives. Mm -hmm. And we'll be watching Beverly Hills, which has gone... Beverly we're not liking Beverly Hills no. at the minute. Beverly Hills at the minute is with Carl Richards, who we've kind of liked throughout the entire season. Because mm. she's always been quite decent. But she just doesn't seem 
that great in no, a minute. It's a bit boring in a minute. I like we like um, Sutton and Garcelle. I loved Garcelle. Uh, the other thing is, what I really loved is when um, Denise Richards came in, and in, in my opinion, she she did the wrong thing. When she came in to begin with, she was just dressed in jeans and a t-shirt and like barely any makeup. She just looked like a really natural, pretty woman. And then in season two, she'd gone with a glam. And I think that's why the audience really liked her mm. in season one, because she was so normal and relatable, despite the fact she was this, was this big star. She wasn't normally relatable in the last episode. Whereas, no, <laughs> she wasn't. But then she sort of glammed herself up to cope, you know, co cope with everyone else. And it just didn't work that well. I don't think that's calling you. Yeah, so anyway, I think we've managed to convey how much our lives are consumed by the Real Housewives trash. franchise. Well, we didn't even mention Sydney, the first season of Sydney. <laughs> the, the, the one <laughs> the franchise, the, yeah, the, the, one, the one season that they couldn't sell to any other network around the world <laughs> because it was so vile right from the word go. The reunion was an absolute shit show of other... <laughs> it was... Best TV ever. Yeah, we watched that through trust. They have brought Sydney back now, but it was a slightly different we cast. Watch we stopped watching it. But we should watch it. They're not too much. To do it, we... Yeah. No, we haven't. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's he, it. He wants feeding. Say goodbye. Goodbye. I'm not going to wink. Bye-bye. <laughs>